Hi there, today we're going to show you how I'm going to turn this white board which has been painted and strip it back to this teak laminated board from a piece of mid-century modern room divider that we bought. I'm going to use this product from Home Strip. It's a paint and varnish remover. Uh, we got it because it's a non-toxic one. We wanted to show you how it works. It has different recommended times for leaving the stripping stuff on. So varnishes, shellax and French polish is 15 to 30 minutes. Just one application normally. Uh, lacquers and polyurethane, 30 to 45 minutes, two to three applications. Multi-layered paint is one hour and scrape off and repeat process. For more than five to six coats of paint, apply a liberal and even coat and leave overnight covered with plastic film to prevent drying out. We found if we just cover it with something, it works better anyway. This isn't a sponsored video by any means. This is just something we've bought and we'll put a link in the description below from where we've bought it. Described as an eco alternative solvent and alkaline free. So we just thought that'd be a really cool thing to use instead of really harsh paint strippers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a standard painting brush. It's supposed to be anything really, just something to put this stuff on. Give it a little bit of stir around. And then it's just liberally apply it on. Try not to throw it everywhere. So just brush it on everywhere for a liberal amount on. Make sure it's all covered. We do, particularly seeing as it's nice and sunny and dry today. It's a box standard plastic. In this case, this is just a feed bag. You know, we tend to just drop it in a bag. And it does say that because of the water content of the product, don't leave longer than the recommended time on veneered surfaces. This is veneered surface, so we'll not be leaving this. Certainly no longer than an hour, but we've found it's about 30 minutes is usually about fair. We should come back in 30 minutes and show you what will happen next. So here we are, back now. We've had half an hour. So we'll take this out of the bag and we're just going to kind of get an initial scrape on it and scrape off what we can. I'm going to do now, I'll just put a little bit more on, put it back in the bag and probably leave it for about a quarter of an hour. Let's see if that's uh, done what it needs to do. Oh, look at that straight away. Vast difference. That's the only example I'll make sure that the bag doesn't blow up when you clean up. Now the secret with this stuff obviously is to make sure that you don't let it dry out. If you let it dry out it does become a lot more difficult to move. Last time what we found is we stack a stiff brush, wet it, give it a good screw off. That helps to get rid of a lot of the stuff out of the drain. I'm not saying it only got rid of all of it by any means, but obviously, if you're working with veneer, don't make it too wet because it, it will obviously separate. So you don't certainly don't want to leave it with water on it for too long. What I'm really doing there is just taking off the damp residue. Just grab a old a rag or something. Yes, I know that's not perfect. That's a damn good start away from where we were. Gone from that to that. What we can do is give that another scrub, work some more stuff into it. Looks like at this stage, getting the paint off, but it's left the original stain or finish on it. We could go further, let it work the original finish off. So that is how we've found this more eco-friendly paint stripper. Nice alternative. Have a look, try it out, see what you think. If you like this video, want to see more, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified, hit the bell.
Thanks a lot. Bye for now.